Welcome to my tutorial video for the ultimate budget by paycheck for Google Sheets. To get started, I recommend reading the easy to follow instructions that will guide you through the workbook. At the top of this tab, you'll find a direct link to my website, where I share further resources, helpful guides, and links to my other spreadsheet tools. If you need assistance at any time, simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click the contact us button. This will connect you directly with me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to help answer any questions. Here, you can see a note that states not to edit colored cells. Before we get started, please note that some cells in this workbook are protected. This is to prevent creating errors and needing to re-enter data due to accidental changes. If you wish to edit a cell or make a modification to the spreadsheet, right-click on the tab and select Unprotect Sheet. When you are done with the modifications, I recommend protecting the sheet by right-clicking on the tab and selecting Protect Sheet. Now, let's explore the different sections of this workbook. The Ultimate Budget by Paycheck Spreadsheet is organized into five key tabs that help you manage all areas of your finances. These tabs include 1. The Buy Paycheck Dashboard, which is your main budgeting tab where you'll manage income, expenses, and spending categories. 2. The Bills Calendar, where you can see due dates for all your regular bills and get reminders. 3. The Debt Snowball Calculator, which helps you understand how quickly you can pay down debts and stay motivated as you progress. 4. The Savings Planner, which allows you to allocate funds towards specific goals. And finally, 5. The Subscription Tracker, which keeps you on top of recurring payments and tracks your total monthly and annual subscription costs. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Budget Dashboard tab. This spreadsheet is a powerful tool for managing your finances on a paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck basis. With automatic calculations, it simplifies tracking expenses and ensures that nothing important is overlooked. This approach helps you stay organized, avoid overspending, and prioritize financial goals, making it easier to manage your budget with every paycheck and ultimately reach your financial objectives. Here, enter the start date and end date for the budgeting period. This can be for a month, two weeks, or any period that aligns with your paychecks. You'll also select your country from a drop-down list, which will update the currency symbols throughout the spreadsheet. Remember, it's important not to modify colored cells here, as they contain formulas essential to the calculations. Next, enter your rollover in the cash flow summary table. This is the total amount you have in your bank accounts and any cash at hand at the beginning of the budgeting period. If it's your first time using the spreadsheet, you'll find the same amount in both the projected and actual columns. For future months, the actual rollover will be the amount in the remaining section of the actual column. This process helps establish a financial baseline and gives you a clear picture of where your starting point is each month. Then, move on to inputting all of the income and expense categories. The spreadsheet includes many default categories, but you're encouraged to personalize these to suit your specific needs. You have space for 16 income categories and an unlimited number of expense categories, covering everything from essentials to discretionary spending. In order to get the most out of the savings tracker, try to keep your savings categories within 16, as this will keep the data clear and organized. Once you've set up your categories, it's time to start budgeting. Begin by filling out the projected columns, which provide an estimate of your income and expenses for the period. This preliminary budget will help you visualize your financial goals and give you an overview of how much flexibility you have. As you enter projected income, include details like the date and expected amount. For expenses, enter estimates in each category, keeping an eye on the cash flow summary to ensure you're within budget. If the remaining balance is negative, consider adjusting non-essential expenses to prevent overspending. Completing the projected section will give you a realistic view of your expected finances. Now, shift your focus to entering actual data. In the income summary table, input the exact amounts you received during the period. 
These may be paycheck deposits, freelance earnings, or cash received. This detailed data entry will give you a true picture of your spending versus your planned budget. Scroll to the right to locate the transaction tracker table, where you can record each transaction for the period. For every transaction, include the date, amount, and category. Select the appropriate category from a drop-down list that includes expenses, bills, debts, and savings. Add descriptions for more detail, such as store names or transaction types, which can be useful for later reference. Each entry will automatically populate the actual columns on the budget dashboard, where you can then see where your money actually went. The expense breakdown pie chart on the right visualizes spending, helping you spot any overspending trends. Now that you have entered your transactions, you get to see where your money is actually going and see if your predictions were correct. Go back to the cash flow summary to view where your money went and how much you have remaining. You can also compare your predictions to your actual transactions and see if you should adjust your budget for the next period. Located at the right is the savings tracker table. The accounts are automatically transferred from the table directly below. As I mentioned earlier, there is room for 16 accounts. When you first get started, the previous column is where you enter the amounts you have saved up to date. At the end of the period, you can adjust the amounts in these accounts using the interest plus or minus column. The currently column automatically adds any amount you have added in the transaction tracker. It should reflect the actual amount you have accumulated in your bank accounts and investment portfolios. You can see the total you have saved at the top of this table. If you want to transfer money from your savings and use it for expenses, enter the amount as a negative under the savings category. This will increase the money you have available without affecting your income entries. I designed this budget with simplicity in mind, so I chose not to include an account tracker to keep it as straightforward as possible. If you are using your credit card like a bank account you can enter the transactions as expenses and bills. The money that you are transferring to your credit cards to use for those expenses slash bills does not need to be entered in the spreadsheet. If you are making extra payments to your credit card that are more than your monthly expenses, then enter that difference under debt. To update the bills calendar, in the bills and debt sections, enter the day due. This should be only the day and number and not an actual date. Enter Y to add it to the calendar. Now that you have added all the days due and checked the boxes, go to the Bills Calendar tab. In the Bills Calendar tab, you can see all your bills and when they are due. The month and year at the top are updated automatically with the end date you have added in the Buy Paycheck Dashboard cell D6. You can check the boxes off as you pay your bills this way you know what was paid for and what still needs to be paid. If you wish to print this calendar, go to the File menu, then select Print. In the menu located at the left, make sure that landscape is selected and that fit sheet on one page is selected. Go to the debt snowball tab. The debt snowball calculator is a tool that helps you plan and visualize your debt repayment using the debt snowball method. This calculator organizes your debts from smallest to largest and shows you the order in which to pay them off, along with a projected timeline. To get started, for the starting date, choose today or a past date. The spreadsheet will not work properly if you enter a future date as it calculates the payments you need to make in the present. Enter all the required information in the debt information table. You will need to enter a name for all of your debts, the balance, annual interest, and minimum payment. The day due will only serve as a reminder and is not relevant to the calculations. If your interest is 0%, enter it as 0 0.00001, that is four zeros before the one. The spreadsheet automatically sorts your debts in the debt summary. The last column at the right, payment this month, lets you see the payments you will need to make this month.
At the top, you can view your total monthly payments to find out if you have any room in your budget to add an extra amount to pay off your debt faster. If you do, enter this amount in additional monthly contribution in cell F11. This amount will be put towards your smallest debt first. Here, you can see how many months are left to pay down your debt. At the right of the spreadsheet, you can view the detailed payment schedule, a breakdown of payments, showing how much you need to pay monthly and the balance today. As the months go by, the amounts will be crossed off and the payment this month will be automatically adjusted. If you have an amount you would like to add to certain months, enter it under the amount plus or minus AH column. This amount will go directly to the smallest debt first. With this calculator, you can adjust extra payments, explore different payoff scenarios, and stay motivated by seeing your debt-free date get closer with each payment. Now, go to the Savings Planner tab. The Savings Planner spreadsheet is a dedicated tool for setting and tracking multiple savings goals, such as building an emergency fund, saving for a vacation, or planning for a large purchase. You can define your target amounts for each goal, and the spreadsheet automatically calculates how much has been saved so far and how much remains. With options to log contributions, you can see your progress and estimated completion date for each goal, helping you stay organized and motivated. Start entering all the things that you wish to save for. Enter the name, start date, goal date, and savings goal. In the tables at the bottom, enter the dates when you would like to make contributions. Then, enter the contributions you would like to make for those dates. If you would like to make equal contributions, use the months left cell to determine the number of payments you need to make and use the recommended contribution in line 35 as an equal payment for the remaining months. When a payment is made, click the checkbox in the table at the bottom and the amount of that contribution will be added to saved so far. It will also update the remaining and percentage saved cells. The savings planner provides a clear visual of their progress, making it easier to manage and achieve financial goals over time. Go to the Subscriptions tab. The Subscription Tracker Spreadsheet is a practical tool designed to help you manage and monitor all your subscriptions in one place. With it, you can easily list each subscription, track monthly or annual costs, and see when upcoming renewals are due. The spreadsheet automatically calculates your total spending on subscriptions, giving you a clear overview of your regular expenses. You can change the categories as needed here. For every subscription you have, enter the description, the category it should fall in, and the amount. When you enter the billing cycle, the spreadsheet will automatically convert the contribution into a monthly amount. Enter the due date and renewal date for future reference. By using this tool, you can quickly identify subscriptions you may no longer need, avoid unexpected renewals, and keep your budget on track, making it easier to manage your finances with confidence. At the start of a new period, I recommend two possibilities. The first is to make a copy of the spreadsheet that you have already filled in. This will save you time as you keep all the recurring entries and only need to erase the amounts that will change. To do this, go to the file menu at the top left and select Make a Copy. You will need to rename the new file and make sure to delete the unwanted information, change the period and change the transaction dates. The second option is to keep everything in the same workbook. To do this, right-click on the Buy Paycheck Dashboard tab or click the small arrow. Select Duplicate from the drop-down menu. Make sure to rename the old tab to the previous period. Because the original Buy Paycheck Dashboard tab connects to the Bills Calendar, you will always be using it as your main budgeting dashboard. Thank you for joining me, I hope that you enjoy using my spreadsheet. Contact me if you have any questions regarding this video and the budget by paycheck.